Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is back below 38k. It broke out in the end out of this um, triangle. We talked about it. My previous video was exactly at the breakout point when we were in the apex. And yeah, it seems like it really did break out and we have that significant move after the price got squeezed into the triangle. And we're going to take a look at that on the Bitcoin chart, the altcoins don't yet react too much, but to be fair, overall, Bitcoin only dropped 1% so far. Um, but we can take a look at that on the Bitcoin chart. Overall, um, some upside generally today after it was a really, really deep, deep red weekend for many altcoins. Um, so far, they are recovering a little bit, but nothing major. So it's not enough um, interest yet from the bulls to push the prices much higher. But let's take a look at Bitcoin and here we are. So Bitcoin continues to be in this, um, yeah, in this descending wedge. So overall, um, yeah, continues to be here really in this, in this wedge. And as I said, um, as long as you are in the wedge, you just have to wait. You just have to be patient. We identified earlier today, that was today my first update about Bitcoin, this kind of triangle. And you can see here that when there was this breaker or when we were getting into the apex, this is when the volatility started. And in the end, it did break out to the downside. That is what we need to do to wait until there is a confirmation. We could draw that trend line here as well. It could extend it a little bit but that was then broken and we're now on our way down. First support here currently, I guess, where we are, this swing low around 37.7K here in this region here, but we can now drop obviously all the way down to the support level of the wedge, which is around 37.2, maybe a little bit lower than that, 37.15. Okay, and this is, I think, where it's currently going. We've got an increased selling volume. Um, bear in mind, it's only the one hour chart, so it's it's nothing too significant, you know. Um, but you can see here on the one hour that bullish crossover was prevented. Yeah, very clear signal here that is going down further. We are now nearly oversold again on the one hour chart. How does it look though on the four hour? Yeah, here on the four hour, very clear signal, bearish crossover on the four hour, only just starting. You can see that here the MACD line crossed the signal line and um, also here on the, oh, what did I do now? Don't know, I think I messed it up. One second. Here on the RSI, um, coming down as well, but not yet oversold. So we still have more scope and more room for further downside here as well. So yeah, I think without a problem, we could even drop down to 37.2. And this is then where the next decision point is. Will we break below this descending wedge? which is absolutely possible, but so far it's really looking like that we are, well, still in this fifth wave and that we are developing here like an ending, so-called ending diagonal pattern for wave five. Um, that means that you get here your wave counts in a, um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five sort of thing, um, an ending diagonal to finish that wave five off. And from here, then we could move up. Well, this would complete that first wave down here, after which I would still expect a larger corrective move to the upside, which would then be that wave two that could take us above 40K to be specific into the region between 40, 41 and a half and 46K. It's quite a large area. It's based on Fibonacci levels. And I will specify that further as soon as we break above the descending wedge. This has obviously not happened yet. And there is no guarantee that we will break out to the upside of the wedge, but um, it is likely. I think it is likely. In the end, you know, however, that the overall trend is down. There is a lot of selling pressure going on at the moment. And um, yeah, the, the downward pressure for Bitcoin is very, it's huge. Yeah, there is downward pressure. And I think we are in the end going to get into this area between 20 and 29K. So as I said, for our um, MACD bearish crossover and on the daily chart, what do we see here? Still sort of coiling up here in the bearish range on the RSI. So nothing significant here currently to see on the daily chart. On the MACD here on the daily, um, yeah, also here just sideways movement. Potentially, we're going to get a bullish crossover here, but they're still quite far away on the daily. Um, and if we go 
to the weekly chart for Bitcoin. And this is again, you know, it's just, oh, this is annoying here. Let me just move that down. So let's take that stochastic RSI out. Um, here, MACD on the weekly bearish crossover here a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago. And this is really not a bullish sign. Yeah, you can, you can interpret into the chart what you want. But if you have a weekly bearish crossover and you're increasing negative momentum, this is not a bullish sign. And also here on the weekly chart on that ADX and DI indicator, we've got a short signal as well. You know, and, and all of that um, doesn't really confirm any sort of bullishness in the chart. We haven't checked the monthly chart for a while, but also here what we identified here a few months ago, that bearish crossover that is still present. Yeah. And uh, the MACD line on that is still very high. So I've said it a few times in the past, um, many weeks ago, that this is still worrying me a little bit because the, the, you know, that MACD line is so high that could actually indicate that we might even drop below the 20 K level, but it's too early to say that it's too early to say that it definitely also here is not bullish because yeah, a lot of people still talk about Bitcoin to new all-time highs from here. I, I can't see it. There is just no, um, there are basically no bullish signals here in the chart at the moment, which doesn't mean they couldn't start to turn up, but at the moment we just don't see them. And of course, if I see something, I will of course make you aware. But yeah, at the moment still in that um, descending wedge, we see here back below 38k and we see another red candle and I think we could get down to 37 and a half, maybe even 37.2. If you drop anywhere below that, then you're probably going to break out to the wedge, to the downside. And then next major, major support would be here around 34 and a half K. Yeah, that low here. Um, and it was support here in January as well. And um, yeah, however, still after a little bit more downside potentially here, I would still expect the price to move up here in a corrective move because in the end, this here would be a wave one. This here will be a wave two after which you get another wave three down, a wave four up and a wave five down, which should take us really into this area. So that's currently my view about Bitcoin. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe and very importantly, if you really like the content, yeah, check out the channel membership to get access to the Telegram chat groups, the Discord server and the weekly live stream. You can sign up here on YouTube by using the join button below or on my website and you can find the link in the description or even on Patreon. So all of these are options. And if you really like it, maybe even check out the trading course um, I'm currently uploading to the website. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.